The interesting thing about comparing the Galaxy S20 and the OnePlus 8T is that even though both the phones are excellent in a vacuum, each one has got clear advantages over the other in many different areas. I'm Rohan from Techie Tech Tech and today let's compare the Galaxy S20 and the OnePlus 8T. Here we go. When it comes to the build quality and design, the similarities far outweigh the differences. Both phones have a glass front and back, sandwiching an aluminium frame. Both of them have the camera module to the top left, although the S20's module looks cleaner and more understated. Both phones also have very clicky and tactile power and volume buttons. But there are a few key differences. The screen on the Galaxy S20 is curved compared to the flat panel on the OnePlus 8T. That makes a noticeable difference in how easy it is to grip the phone. Also, the Galaxy S20 is noticeably smaller and lighter and much better for one-handed use. Conversely, the larger OnePlus 8T packs a larger display which is preferred by a lot of people. One last thing that I would like to point out is a personal observation. The Galaxy S20 looks a lot more stealthy and classy thanks to its clean design and muted color options. The aqua green or shiny silver color on the OnePlus 8T grabs far more attention. Everyone has a different personal preference, so I'll let you decide this one for yourself. Flip over to the display panels and things get more interesting here. The display glass is slightly curved on the S20 while it is completely flat on the OnePlus 8T. I usually hate curved displays but I love the one on the S20 because the curve is very subtle which means that it can look as premium as other curved displays without causing curved display problems like accidental touches or unwanted glare. Also while both the displays are 120Hz, the Galaxy S20 has a higher resolution at QHD Plus compared to Full HD Plus on the OnePlus 8T. Now I agree, you would think that the differences would not be noticeable on displays this small but that is honestly not the case in my personal usage experience. I read a lot on my phone and the text always looked noticeably sharper on the display of the Galaxy S20. Even the overall colors, vibrance and saturation were a level above on the S20. Now don't get me wrong, in no way does that mean that the OnePlus 8T has a bad display. Far from it. The OnePlus 8T has an excellent display and I love using it. Let's just say that if the display on the OnePlus 8T is an A, the display on the Galaxy S20 is an A+. Now that we are handing out grades, let's quickly move on to the performance because there's a lot to cover here. See where I live, the Galaxy S20 comes with Samsung's in-house Exynos 990 CPU. This CPU is great for day-to-day -day use but struggles quite a bit when it comes to gaming or other performance intensive stuff. It's also not as power efficient which means that the battery life suffers quite a bit. The OnePlus 8T on the other hand comes with a Snapdragon 865 CPU. It is more efficient and more powerful which means that everything's just smoother on this phone. If you're into smartphone gaming, definitely pick up the OnePlus 8T. Personally, I am not into smartphone gaming or anything like that and the Exynos S20 has been great for me. Would I switch it for a Snapdragon version if I theoretically could? Yes, definitely yes. But at the same time, I willingly and out of my own choice use the Exynos Galaxy S20 and it has been great for an average non-hardcore user like me. Let's move on and talk about the software now. Samsung's One UI and OnePlus's Oxygen OS are my two favorite Android skins for somewhat different reasons. Let's quickly go over them. Oxygen OS is better just for how smooth and clean it is. There's basically no lag. The bloatware is non-existent and the customizability options are great to have. It has a few great features but my favorite feature is definitely just how smooth Oxygen OS can run even after a device gets 2 or even 3 years old. When it comes to One UI, it is less about speed and more about form. One UI is extremely polished and well put together. It feels like a very well tied together ecosystem. 
there are a lot of features for everyone and those features are actually quite usable instead of being buggy like it used to be with previous Samsung phones. However, you do get a lot of pre-installed stuff with the Samsung alternative for basically every Google service. Samsung also tends to be better when it comes to delivering software updates as compared to OnePlus so keep that in mind if you plan to use your phone for 2-3 to three years. If you care about a light and fast experience, pick Oxygen OS and if you want a more feature-rich and well-loaded software experience, go with One UI. All in all, no matter which one you pick, I am sure that you are going to love the software experience on either of these phones. Let's talk about the cameras now. In terms of optics, the OnePlus 8T sports a quad camera setup with a 48MP primary shooter, a 16MP ultrawide, a 5MP macro and a 2MP monochrome depth camera. On the other hand, the Galaxy S20 has a triple camera setup with a 12MP primary camera, a 12MP ultrawide and a dedicated 64MP telephoto camera with 1.1x optical zoom. On paper, the OnePlus 8T certainly has an edge with a high resolution primary sensor and more cameras while the S20 has larger sensors. Let's find out how they perform in real life. As always, we'll talk about the photos first and then move on to the videos. The primary camera on the Galaxy S20 renders better colors with high saturation and warmer tones. On the other hand, the OnePlus 8T shoots sharper and contrasty stills with rich details. Even though the 8T has a high resolution sensor, the S20's larger sensor manages to pull more details with high dynamic range, making it a significantly better smartphone camera in well-lit scenarios. The Galaxy S20 has a slightly wider ultra-wide angle lens than the OnePlus 8T. Thanks to the larger sensor and pixel size, the Galaxy S20 produces stills with low noise and better colors, again better than the ones clicked on the OnePlus 8T. The OnePlus 8T does not have a telephoto camera and uses hybrid zoom to produce 2x zoomed in stills. The stills produced on the 8T have low noise but lack sharpness. On the other hand, the Galaxy S20 only has a 1.1x optical telephoto camera and uses a 64MP sensor along with cropping and processing to create hybrid optical 3x zoomed in pictures. The pictures shot on the S20 zoom lens are sharper with good bokeh, again objectively better than the OnePlus 8T. Even with a dedicated depth sensor, the OnePlus 8T lags behind the S20 when it comes to subject separation while shooting portraits. The S20 also produces better portraits with more accurate skin tones. Do note that the OnePlus 8T is way faster when it comes to processing times. The OnePlus 8T's 16MP front camera takes better selfies than the 10MP front camera on the Galaxy S20. The S20 produces selfies with a processed look while the 8T produces sharper selfies and better skin tones. Moving on to low light performance, the pictures shown on the OnePlus 8T are brighter but suffer from color casting issues with some weird artifacts. On the flip side, the Galaxy S20 produces pictures with rich details and better noise processing with no color casting issues. The OnePlus 8T can also take macro shots but the image quality is far below average. Moving on to videos, in terms of video resolutions and frame rates, both devices can shoot in 4K at 60fps from the rear cameras. The Galaxy S20 is a step ahead and can also shoot videos in 8K at 24 frames per second. The Galaxy S20 is also ahead of the 8T when it comes to the front facing cameras. It can shoot videos in 4K at 60fps while the 8T selfie camera tops at Full HD at 30fps. The Galaxy S20 also has a featureish camera app while the 8T provides a more snappier camera app experience. The video quality in terms of colors and HDR is good on both devices. On a closer look, we found that the OnePlus 8T shoots slightly sharper videos while the videos shot on the Galaxy S20 have better stabilization. To conclude, while the OnePlus 8T has an above average camera system which should be enough for most casual users. The Galaxy S20 takes it a step above with Samsung's flagship level image processing and better hardware which delivers objectively superior pictures and videos to make it the clear winner in this department. Moving on, let's discuss the battery life. The OnePlus 8T obliterated the Galaxy S20 here. The Galaxy S20 struggles to last a full day unless you use some power saving features. It gives roughly 4 to 4.5 hours of screen on time. While the OnePlus 8T is no endurance king, 
it sure looks like one in front of the Galaxy S20. You're talking 5 to 6 hours of screen on time and an easy day's worth of usage which can even be extended to a day and a half. If you want a longer lasting Samsung phone, don't look at the S20 but maybe look at the S20 Plus or the S20 Ultra. Now, both the S20 and the OnePlus 8T support fast wired charging although the OnePlus 8T's technology is noticeably faster. The Galaxy S20 also supports fast wireless charging and reverse wireless charging both of which are not supported by the OnePlus 8T. Now, before we conclude, I'd also like to include a quick word about the phone call quality. The Galaxy S20 is noticeably better with better clarity and signal reception. Again, the OnePlus 8T is not bad, it is an A while the S20 is an A+. Now to conclusion. See, the Galaxy S20 and OnePlus 8T are very different phones for very different people. The OnePlus 8T provides a smooth and fast experience with great battery life, less bells and whistles but a great core experience. The Galaxy S20 has a better camera, more features but it's not as fast and does not last as long. It's very hard to pick a clear winner here and I would be very interested in hearing what you picked for yourself in the comments below. I hope this video helped you out and if it did, help us back by liking this video, sharing it and subscribing to our channel. I will be ever so grateful. This has been Rohan from Techie Tech Tech and I hope to see you in our next video. Bye.